Today I'm going to show you an interesting way to add amazingly colorful and dramatic filter in Photoshop. First off, click on the adjustment layer and then choose photo filter. Now as you increase the density, have a look, it's becoming more and more warm, right? Why? Because the warming filter is selected. You can also choose any color of your choice. Click on the color, single click here, and I'm just going to make it a little brighter. You can choose any color at this point. Hit OK. Make sure preserve luminosity is checked. What that does, no matter how high or low the density is, no matter what the color is, it will preserve the brightness of the image. It will not change it. So take it all the way up. Now, what I'm going to do, I just want it in the highlights. I don't want the yellow or the warm filter in the shadows. Maybe for the shadows, we will create a blue or a purple or a maroon filter. So double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens up the layer styles dialog box. Now we want to take it away from the shadows. So take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. Now, as you can see, this is very harsh. So hold the Alt or Option, click on the slider to break it apart. Take the half on the right hand side, take the left half all the way to the left hand side and just hit OK. Now this is just applied on the highlights, but this is not much, right? So press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it. Now it's looking pretty good. Now, as you can see, I have one more complaint. What if we could get some details in the highlights? And that can be achieved by making the highlights a little darker. So what was the blend mode which makes things darker? Multiply, right? So if I choose the blend mode of this one, because this is affecting the highlights to multiply, have a look at this. So let's change it to multiply. Look, more details. So here is the before, here is the after, and here is with normal, and here is with multiply. See the difference? It's amazing. Now, let's create one more photo filter. Click on this one and click on photo filter. And this one, maybe I'll just apply the warming filter a little overall something. This is great, 62, 65, it's pretty great. Now let's create something for the shadows. Create one more photo filter. Click on the adjustment icon and then choose photo filter again. Now, what do you want for the shadows? maybe blue, maybe something like that. So just single click on the color, single click on the box, and this time we're gonna choose something bluish. This is fine, hit okay. Now, if you increase it, it's making everything blue. We don't want that, we only want this in the shadows. So double click on the right hand side of the layer, opens up the layer style dialog box and we will do just the opposite. Take the slider of the underlying layer from right to left, hold the Alt or Option, take the right half to the right hand side, take the left half to the left hand side, just like so. Hit OK, but you know what, something is missing. I understand the shadow is bluish, but what if we could add some darkness to it? So when the preserved luminosity is checked, it maintains the brightness, it doesn't let that change. But if I uncheck that, have a look, it gives you complete control over it. Now you can just single click here, if you want to make it brighter, go to B for brightness and just take it up. This will make it brighter. If you want to decrease the saturation, go to S and you can just decrease the saturation from here. If you want to change the hue, you can do that from the H. Just click on that one and you can change the hue from there. Now you can also directly do it over here if hue is selected. If you go to the left hand side, the saturation decreases. Right hand side, saturation increases. Going up, Will make it brighter going down will make it darker and you can change the hue from here so for me maybe a little bit magenta tone really makes it very interesting but i think it's very saturated i'll go to the saturation and decrease the saturation from there as you can see this is very very interesting if you want you can go to b and increase the brightness that's totally upon you and hit ok this is very interesting. Now, on top of it, you can create one more curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now click a point in the middle and take it up to make the overall image brighter. But we don't want to make the clouds brighter, right? So we can mask it out. So let's make it a little bit brighter like this. This is fine. Click on the mask and then press Ctrl or Command I. Take the brush. Make sure the foreground color is white. You can press X to toggle between foreground and the background and then just make the brush a little bigger, softer. Just paint on the areas that you want to brighten. So let's collapse this one. Maybe I just want to brighten this. Not so much in the water. This is fine, looking great. Have a look at this. So this is the before, this is the after. 
curves adjustment le. Now have a look at the overall before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Looks so much more better and dramatic this way. Now on top of this, you can add as many adjustment layer as you want. Now just for more effect, I'm gonna add a crisp warm color lookup table. It's my favorite. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color lookup. And here I'm gonna choose crisp warm. It really just bumps it all up. Decrease the opacity, it's too much. So just a little bit of it. And to fade it just a little bit, we're gonna create one more curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Take the shadows a little up, just like that. Now from here, you will take it down a little bit. Now we don't want this so much, so we will decrease the opacity and control that a little bit, just a touch. Now, if you think the overall effect is too much, click on the topmost adjustment layer, hold the shift key, click on the bottommost adjustment layer. Everything in between will be selected. Press Ctrl or Command G to make a group. Now, if you want, you can decrease the overall opacity of the group. So I'm just gonna decrease it just a bit, not so much, because sometimes we tend to go a little overboard. 91 is great, and it's done. Here's the before, and here is the after. Isn't that amazing? So that's how to use Photo Filter to add color and drama to your images in Photoshop. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.